It's a very, it's a serious situation, and but there's a lot of things we need to do. We have, we have a lot of work to do, and I'm afraid that it's a very hard struggle, particularly given the situation on the Iraq-Pakistan border. And I would not announce that I'm going to attack Pakistan as Senator Obama did when he was during his campaign. If we have actionable intelligence about high-value terrorist targets and President Musharraf will not act, we will. Senator McCain, Senator Obama says while the increased number of U.S. troops contributed to increased security in Iraq, he also credits the Sunni awakening and the Shiite government going after militias and says that there might have been improved security even without the surge. What's your response to that? I don't know how you respond to something that is a, a, such a false depiction of what actually happened. Colonel McFarlane was contacted by one of the major Sunni sheikhs. Because of the surge, we were able to go out and protect that sheikh and others, and it began the Anbar awakening. I mean, that's just a matter of history. My understanding that this missile test was conducted by the Iranian Revolutionary Guard. This is the same organization that I voted to condemn as a terrorist organization. Now to a political campaign alert. The first negative ad of this 2008 presidential general election. John McCain released it today. And here it is. Barack Obama never held a single Senate hearing on Afghanistan. He hasn't been to Iraq in years. He voted against funding our troops, positions that helped him win his nomination. Look at the first line. Barack Obama never held a single Senate hearing on Afghanistan, which refers to his work on a subcommittee. Right. That's true, but it's also true that John McCain, the ranking member on armed services, he never attended uh, a single hearing on Afghanistan the last two years. John McCain and I approve this message.